Oh my God, somebody leaked, and I know who it is, the 10 hours of 90 Day Fiance, the finale footage. This is the 10 hours unedited, guys. I'm staying within the YouTube community guidelines of fair use, not breaking any rules, being very cautious, commenting on what had happened. I'm not going to give any spoilers right now. I'll wait till I'm allowed to. Please subscribe and follow to find out what those spoilers are. But I will, however, say that this is my guilty pleasure, and I'm sure it is also yours, um, especially during quarantine, to be able to forget your problems for a couple of hours and watch these guys and see their, you know, their, their their different kind of psychological relationships and how they're each reacting to it and stuff like that. It is uh, just a wonderful way to just zone out and kind of like almost like meditation, just just kind of forget your problems, forget all the issues, and just relax for a couple hours. And I thank all these guys here for putting their lives on TV for our entertainment. Um, it's very thoughtful, actually, and I. I think that it uh, was something that we all need sometimes, you know, especially with someone like me where I'm always quantifying and thinking about different things um, and trying to, you know, get into deep stuff. I won't do that right now. But, you know, it's nice to be able to have some balance and just go the exact opposite way and just relax with a little reality television and just forget your problems for a few minutes, you know. Um, so, again, isn't that what entertainment's about, right? Just to kind of relax, have a nice experience and forget your problems for an hour or so, right? Um, but, guys, this footage is incredible. I know who leaked the footage. I won't say it because I don't want to get that person in trouble, but you guys can post your comments below who you think it is. Um, and you guys should definitely tell me what you think about David. I just think he is super naive and he seems like a straight shooter and honest guy and probably doesn't even understand or grasp the concept how someone could lie to him. Clearly, he's being super, super scammed. Um, there are some huge reveals in here. Where do you see when they have everybody on. Again, I have to be careful what I say. I'm going to give you some super spoilers, uh, not from this, but from other people on the show that has leaked out um, that, uh, again, with staying within the community guidelines, I will not break those guidelines. I take it very seriously. Um, so I'm just doing this out of fair use, and I know what those uh, rights are, I hope, <laughs> to the best of my abilities, but I'm going to show you some real shocking surprises from other cast members, um, which is just unbelievable in a second. You guys can guess who this is. That's right. It's Jeffrey, guys, and I have some sad news to report. Someone said Chuck Norris 2.0, but here's the sad news. Unfortunately, he was arrested. That picture's from about a year ago, and it's very, very, very upsetting uh, apparently he was arrested for domestic abuse for his fourth wife, I believe they said. Um, and supposedly or allegedly he bloodied her nose, dripping it into her mouth and kidnapped her. And she went and called the police and you can read about this all online. And he's been removed from the show because of that. Um, very, very shocking and upsetting. I did not see that from him now. I thought he really was a reformed changed person and maybe he is now reformed and changed, but at least a year ago, he wasn't. And the, again, allegedly, according to what I read online. And it's really, really sad. But something that's interesting that you might want to see is this. You guys want to guess who this is? That's right, guys. It is the Twin Sisters. And they had a show 10 years ago, um, which was uh, The Twin Life. Uh, and I kind of think I remember it. Uh, my friend Chance is doing the interview over there. And you could see um, these very... Young ladies having their own reality show uh, way back in the day and uh, and looked pretty cool, you know, so it was kind of nice to, to have this throwback and see how they used to look back in the day and, you know, and that they've come full circle now with their new show. So that's kind of cool. Um, and I thought a lot of you guys might be interested to see that. You know, it's kind of fun. It's only 10 years ago. And look at the little kids. Isn't that adorable? So, you know, there you go, guys. I thought you might uh, get a kick out of that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this entertainment uh, entertaining. <laughs> and uh, please make sure to follow and subscribe for updates. And I will give you some massive updates when I'm allowed to. Uh, this is comic book artist, writer, and director Greg White from BeyondComics.tv. Please stay safe out there. It's been really rough here in New York City. And I hope this brings you a few minutes of distraction and peace of mind. I uh, love you guys. Stay safe. And as they say in comics, to be continued. Peace.